that was weird. All right, anyway, uh, take two of the master man for me set up to anything. So there is something like that. It adds one to have to set those up. So that you're going to be right information from your meet every time you get one. Oh, we can never really jump on it. I was uh, in the middle of sharing a thought that I had. Uh, this is a little podcast in the drive. I know I saw now too. St. George is speaking for the tournament in the middle of the time. About uh, four and a half hours. I see you out there in the car. This is a little podcast. So, I guess I'm going to do maybe was, uh, is one from the guys at their pockets. Their pockets, you know, they are their real estate investing. Uh, company, uh, share a lot of information products and books and, and guides and all types of things. Um, anyways, we were talking on there about, you know, we, we all have plenty of information, right? We all got information you know, on this call today, uh, Watson's mastermind. Open the information that makes you a better business person, right? But there's no, there's no shortage of information. If information was all it took, we'd all be billionaires with big fat apps, right? So the information is there, and the information is easy to um, access, but the difference between people who are truly successful and those who just have a lot of information and sit there is the ability to implement. So they're talking about this book called Four Disciplines of Execution. And something that kind of very interesting in any talk was uh, this concept of uh, something called the whirlwind. So the whirlwind is, uh, is something that is your day-to-day life. Right? It's, it's your data. It's your... Um, you know, I'll wait on the bed and then the am going to get this done, I'm going to get that done. And um, I got these calls saying, I need to follow up with these leads. And then the whirlwind hits, and your son calls and says, I need to go home from school. When the doorbell rings and it's somebody, you know, to um, mow your lawn, or it's we open up the web browser to get on, we just got your email, the interesting article, like, well, here, can you show you? Like the interesting article, like, oh, are you about horse racing? Or, hey, what's this all about? Both things. <laughs> you go out and say, well, that's the whirlwind. We all get caught up in this, in this concept called the whirlwind. And, and the thing I can clear from it is that it's normal, it's natural, it's a human response. We all do it. Everyone else is caught in that whirlwind for day to day. But we've got to be able to just set aside, even if it's you know, 30 minutes of just focused time every day to be able to, to work closer to our goals. And the other thing that we talked about is the goal setting. You know, some of us say, I'm going to sell 50 houses this year. But, but that really, you know, that year timeline, what happens is, you know, we've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time. It's a full year. You know, I don't need to do anything today because I've got all this time to meet my goal. They thought that a chunk of your goal may be really specific when you can get deadlines and target no more than no more than that eight out. Uh, and, and the more compressed you can get that time frame, the more the more urgency you can get to get it. So, you know, say if I instead of saying I was to fifty homes this year, you know, break that down and you say, Okay, so fifty homes that I per month that's four per month, four and you know, four pound or whatever per month. Um, so in the next week, I need to get one house under contract. So if you set it down that one, now you've got urgency to say, next seven days, I want to do one. You know, that's easy and that's doable, right? A 50 can be, can be really overwhelming all the time. So anyway, I just wanted to do that, uh, for the civil investigation, I'm going to go pick the book up. Um, I thought the podcast was a fast thing, so, um, anyways. So let's talk a little bit about ads today. So over here in the Facebook, um, let's go to our ad manager. I'm going to, I'm going to show off for just a second on our ad. And we'll talk a bit about when the news adage of the show. Holy shit. Alright, let's check this ad right here. Uh, doing better than I even imagined this ad here. How did that below the new one that, uh, 
Maya came home from her meeting on Monday morning. Last week, I don't remember exactly what she said. Um, she said, hey, we got to get an this. Um, we got five, five, coming in, right? Yeah. So literally, yes, this is the part of the Saturday. No, I'm sorry. So I was in the universe, and my son was here, and we were in the practice room, and she was like, we had you. I'm like, I had you after the night before my team died, and we were warmed up, and everything. So I went into the clubhouse, and I found their Wi-Fi, and I went to the dad together. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, you know, basically what I did is I stole one of my earlier ones, um, changed a couple of, of uh, she's a name, but basically one of these that old growth farms here, the guys with old growth farms is the ad, um, and it just changed up the, uh, the morning, we the same picture, uh, threw it together, it took me 15 minutes to put the thing together, and then I threw it off and off. Uh, I was just sitting in the village, New construction press from 294 to finish the program. It's a very cheap amount. Wow, there it is. There's the ads. You've gone through how to write these ads, and you've got them in your library. So you just basically implement this bad boy. You throw it out there. And the base, you saw new construction equipment, and you throw it out there. Um, get it. Go to, go to our ads library. Choose one. Implement it. Throw it out there. And uh, this is the kind of stuff that you get. So check this out. Go back to the campaign or over the campaign. 24 weeks. Uh, this weekend. 78 cents for you. So, yeah. Uh, that is, uh, that's pretty damn good, if I can say so myself. Um, not sure if you how many appointments I've been able to set. How has the LLV quality been on this? Um, I have two feedbacks, and then the lead quality is, I mean, it's pretty, it's here pretty typical on all my leads. It's going to be 98 or me. It's just three of them both to the lender. And so, um, with this price point, you do have some bright issues. And so, those are going to be a little bit lower to, to, you know, to get them and stuff, but, I'll just come in my pipeline and keep, keep hitting them. Yeah. Well, and that, that, this is not to be, I mean, this is not to be um, bought over or ticket for it. I mean, you spent, we spent 20 bucks, $18.63, and you, you have two appointments, and you sent three people to the lender. So, the lender can be sort of a wild card, and you could have the lender who, who follows up and, um, you know, other than that, that's the best thing, you guys. Um, treat those people really, really well because, you know, for our experience with letters, they are kind of the, um, missing link. You know, we've got to make sure that we have letters for following up with these people and making sure that they're, they're following through. You know, like, okay, we did a great job of that. So, if you've got a good letter that you, that you, um, and you work well with that, change the tool while hang on to their goal. Because we thought mortgage is about long as we can't sell any anyway. So, um, make sure that your mortgage side is on board with what you're doing and understand the type of app that you're running. Um, and that's a blessing. That's a blessing. But, so it's not $20, I have two appointments and some great people to the lender. Um, I will do that all day long, every day, for the rest of my life. And I like that. That's, Pretty damn good. Let's talk about the ad. Okay, so there's your ad. There's your ad uh, created. And again, if you if you just go into your back office, let me let me see if I can quickly go into my. That's my office. We want to go to the back end. We want to get into our. Let me stop in the quick ones here, real quick, like. Opens up. I'm going to show you exactly where these are located inside of our funnel. So I'm in the funnel. 
that's your energy life on the podcast. We can give you to use that. Okay? And the question that is important here, okay? So, that one's great. Don't mess with this if you find this. Email the whole thing. What's the more important one we need to get? You need one more in there and say, you need that number. Phone name, email, phone number. That's it. That's it. That's easy. That's simple, okay? Uh, if your privacy policy, okay, so the privacy policy you can give a little bit of a seat. What you need to do is you actually go to your page. Here's a little trick. And you don't have to, if you've got a website that you want to use, you can go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to use a, hey, nice. Uh, I'm just going to use a page that we run the ad through. It's really easy to go here. Copy this. Okay. And stick that. Right there. They love it and give them back here to Facebook. Okay. Uh, and that's what you're going to do. And then right here, privacy. Copy this thing. You don't need to do. If you don't want to. You do screen. You can check to make sure your information is good. And you can, again, you can send it to a website. That's why you can't really copy that link. And back to your page. Okay. If you want to go off of Facebook to your website, you can do that. Keep them off Facebook, though. It makes it simple. And you hit save. It will tell you if you're serious to get up. And then we're going to finish that whole e form. And we've got green, green, green. Everything's good. So everything's good. Now, what happens is this. Um, I'm not going to publish it because I don't want to run this app right now. That's all you do is just put publish right there. So that is a lead form. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to move it. So that's a lead form. So it is really just a free, just make that your ad copy as much as you possibly can. Um, there's really just really good information that we're looking for. I like to always make sure that the fabric is sat in there. It makes the lead form a little bit better. Um, a little bit easier to follow through with. Um, next week, we'll talk a little bit more about our third party integration so that you can get those leads in as quickly as possible and contact them. Um, that's all I've got for you today. My biggest takeaway, my key for today is to implement, okay? I mean, we need to implement. We've got to get those ads up and going. We've got to get those ads up and running. So, um, it's pretty good to look better off of the Questions, anybody that's out there, if you want to be using my ad, you can additionally want to go over. Can you guys anything for me? Sorry, um, no. Sorry. Yeah, you can do it, right? Yeah. Get some air on it, and then we go. So, hey, boy. Thanks for being with you next week. Look for your emails. Um, have a good week, and I'll be happy.